everyone and welcome to the Ling Lighters Day. I thought I'd do a flip through of Gather Round's artist units. I've got the Teacher's Guide here, the uh, early elementary book that goes with it. There is also a companion which I haven't printed off because I can't see the reason to. It's basically showing you a page out of every of, of the levels, of each of the levels of what your child will do that day and it's all got some of the bits and pieces on there um, but nothing that's consumable so I didn't print that off but it looks really good and I will show you um, the companion too um, in a minute. So I'm really excited, this is my first gather round unit. I've been fascinated by this curriculum. Um, I really like Rebecca Spooner who is the creator um, of the company. Um, I used to watch her review videos and I thought she was uh, a really interesting person to watch and when she came out with this curriculum I've been watching several people who I follow, I follow for years using it to see their experiences. But the, uh, until this point there wasn't one that I wanted to do in terms of for our curriculum that we'd already purchased and you know we're using. Um, obviously I don't want to buy things when I don't need them um, but when artists came out I thought that sounded fantastic we'd almost finished um, the book we were doing for art so I thought that would be great we will fit that in this year um, but then when it, I actually printed it off and I haven't looked for it properly but I've seen a few bits and pieces and thinking hmm, maybe I'll save this for fourth grade actually so we'll see but it's also really made me interested in looking at some of the other units for fourth grade too because obviously I haven't purchased all my curriculum yet so I wouldn't be buying duplicates of things so I can definitely see if I can squeeze any in should I like it so let's get started I'm excited to see it we're looking at this together um if it's shaky it's because my tripod is broken but I'll do my best okay so we've got our introduction to Rebecca um then we've got some information about the different levels so I picked the early elementary for my daughter so it's eight to ten years um so she's got a little schedule here, so read from the teacher's guide for 10 to 20 minutes and then have your students work in their student notebooks for 30 to 60 minutes. It includes seat work, notebooking, science, social studies and history. So it, I'm, I know you're all familiar with Gather Round, so I'm not going to explain it to you. <laughs> um, it does cover everything in terms of um, your subjects apart from math. Geography, grammar, writing, projects, Bible and art. So if my understanding is each unit is different in terms of what it includes of each of the thing, of the uh, subjects. So you might obviously pick a unit that's really heavy on geography. You might pick a unit that's really heavy on science. I'm curious what this one is going to actually um, involve. Anyway, so we've got all our supplies. And that is really pretty. I like that. I guess that's for you. Well, for me <laughs> to colour in as we are in the teacher's guide. So table of contents, we've got 20 lessons. Um, what is art? Painters, ballet dancers. I love that. Poets, cartoonists, composers, the art of dessert, the short story. Sculptures, actors, playwrights and screenwriters, photographers, architects, singers, novelists, graphic designers, ceramic artists, pencil artists, interior designers and the great design. That sounds amazing. I think Rebecca actually wrote this one herself. Um, mm, I really like that. Okay. I didn't need to. You know, nothing against gather around but I hate I hate 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 when curriculum companies do this why write intentionally blank leave it blank and then I won't I can reuse my paper and everybody does this it's not about her everybody does this um, for digital products and it drives me batty because it's just wasting my paper uh, it's different I think if you pair if you print double-sided but I don't do that because my printer doesn't do it manually so I wish they didn't do stuff like that but again that's nothing to do with gather around all companies do it so we have got some recitation here we go with the intentional blanks <laughs> again that's nothing to do with her it's just I guess the way they do it um, when they're making digital products all companies so our first lesson is what is art so we've got an introduction we've got some really cool pictures here at the bottom I love whoever does their layout. I think it's fantastic. Their graphic design layout is gorgeous. Ah, that's interesting. So we've got a an example of fact and opinion. Um, this does have uh, religious aspects to it. Um, so something to bear in mind. If if you are wholly secular, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, if that is included. So, we're looking at different types of art. 
I mean, look at the imaging, it's just gorgeous. I love the um, pictures that they've included. Little watercolour pictures. Well, designs. It looks like someone's done that by hand, maybe. Um, what is an artist? So, less. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do teacher's guide compared to student. Hang on one second. Okay, that makes way more sense. I didn't think this video out at all. I just printed everything off and was really excited. But it makes sense to show you what's lesson one in here, lesson one in here. Okay, so we've got a little introduction again. Gorgeous picture for them. I love the brain for them to colour in while you're colouring yours. Uh, reading log. Again, that looks so fun. I love the uh, little clips and things over here. Rating system. I love the watercolour. Again, whoever does their layout is very talented. I really like it. I think it's the same on all of their products, so not just this one. Okay, we've got our table of contents. I think this is the same, so I'm just going to skip this bit. This is interesting. We've decided to put our seatwork pages for the whole unit at the, ba at the beginning, so perhaps that's different in different levels. So each seatwork page can be ripped out, laminated, put in a plastic pouch for dry erase, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's something to know if you've used Gather Round before, but as I haven't, that means nothing to me, so let's just move on. <laughs> Aha, I see what... No, it's all making sense. So all at the beginning of the download, have we got all our seat work for every single week. So we'll just look at uh, week one seat work. Um, so we've got copy work, spelling focus. So we are working, uh, working, l learning words that contain an X. Okay, so we've got exit, explain, exclaim, blah, blah, blah. Uh, paint something, you can use watercolor, acrylic or any of the paint. This week I'm working on calendar work um so this is our seat work obviously so it must be i'm guessing it's kind of similar then we've got some like a bullet journal style here so calendar work drink water clean your room blah blah, blah. so that's interesting like a tracker i guess that people use in bullet journaling i don't because no <laughs> but um i'd always forget to tick it but yeah that's interesting okay so i'm guessing oh more seat work so here's our copy work passage Next journaling, um, a calendar. Ah, okay. So let's see, is it the same for week two? Let's just breeze through these. Ah, okay, I see. So they're all the same. So we'll just skip through those. So they're all the same style, layout. You just have obviously different words and different copy work for all of the seat work elements. So we've got week five and then we're done right lesson one okay so we've just looked at lesson one in the teacher's guide so in our student section we've got notebooking so when you listen to today's lesson be an artist and sketch or paint a picture okay cool to find it we've got a little word bank so they can uh look up the definitions what write the type of art next to the correct illustration so that's something that presumably we would have read in the information Try to list three things you find beautiful onto the lines. If you're having trouble writing them, try dictating them. Okay, that's cool. Um, during this unit, you will choose two artists to research. Explains what researching is. Circle the type of art that's most interesting to you. That's cool. I like that. Circle an art if you'd like to study or choose your own. Again, that's really good. So that gives them some ideas and inspiration. And then turn to the artist profile in the appendix, which, okay. Write the name on the line and copy the category of art that they are in and type of art they do. For example, Julie, and Julie Andrews is in the performing arts section. And then they'll work on this project throughout the unit. They can then cut and paste them onto a poster or make a book out of them. Okay, interesting. Voila, the appendix. Let's see. Ooh, that looks cool. There's a little spelling game. They've got some more ideas for spelling practice, which is good. Here's that artist profile. So name, category, draw, why I chose the artist. Okay, so that's for their little project that they'll do. All about my artist. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and we're still not done. So that's that was our language arts and art. Okay. Next, we've got our social studies. I can see why people say this is um this includes everything. So what is this? Okay, so this is our for our fact versus opinion. So we've got our little boxes here, our idea boxes, to decide if they are fact or opinion. <laughs> okay. And then we've got to dictate our own. 
fact and opinion. I like that. So that's for social studies, for lesson one. For our science, what are we doing? Now, this is where the companion on the computer comes, uh, the digital companion that I didn't print off comes in handy because you would have looked at that in your planning for the week. Um, but as we're looking at the notebook, we can just read it anyway because it will show you the pages. Uh, okay, so read data is a collection, so you need to read that. There's a question. They may need to make a hypothesis and they're going to write the conclusion. Okay, that's interesting. So we're talking the scientific method for um, our science lesson. Your turn. I'm now we're collecting some data. Okay, no, I like that. That's good. That's our science for lesson one. Art for lesson one. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really involved. Um, we're going to learn how to observe and appreciate art. I love that picture so much. When, um, oh, you, anyway, when we were at, at uh, I was going to say you could see the picture, but you can't because it's not uh, public anymore. But anyway, the, we have a picture um, when we went to Stonehenge and my daughter is stood in the field. Um, and it just reminds me of that picture so, so much. And it was just one of those, you know, when you just take a picture, then you don't really think about it at the time. And then afterwards you think, ah, oh, that reminds me of some art that I've seen before. And it's this picture. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's get back to what we're doing. So we are observing and appreciating art. So we're doing a little picture study. Now we're notebooking for art and language arts. Oh, that's lesson two. Okay, so that's all for lesson one. That's quite a lot. Um, not in a negative way at all. But I can see why, yes, we could say that this could cover everything in theory. Um, that isn't our intention because we're using it for art. But, you know, for lesson one, we've got art. We've got language arts. We've got our social studies. We have got our science. We've got our instructions for our picture study. And then we're on to lesson two. That's really interesting. So if you do gather around as your main curriculum, how how do you schedule that? I'm curious. Do you do one sheet a day or one or two sheets a day? Because um, surely you wouldn't do all, all that in one. Maybe you do it one in a week. So you'll do Monday, you'll do this. Tuesday, you'll do this. I'm going to look at the companion with you in a bit and see if maybe she, she states in there anything about how you should schedule it. So I'm just curious how people would schedule it. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe that's how you would do it. Let me know. How do you do it if you use Gather Around as your main curriculum? Do you do one sheet a day? Okay, so let's go back to lesson two in our teacher guide. Okay, so we're on to lesson two now. Again, I love the image. Um, okay, so prayer there. Then we've got an activity break. So this looks like it's historical in nature. I wonder if we're going to be getting a history lesson in our notebook soon. We're talking about Leonardo da Vinci, the Mona Lisa. So you read all this, obviously. Oh, here we go with the pages. Please stop doing this curriculum company. I'm sure there's a valid reason why it's essential, but... <laughs> um, Mona Lisa. So for our picture study, that's really nice. I like that. Oh, I love this painting so so much. And I love all the um, theories behind it as well. I've watched the Da Vinci Code too many times and read the book too many times. <laughs> um, picture study. Notice each man's expression. Yeah, that's what we were just doing. So there's some questions about the picture that we've just looked at. And then we're on to Van Gogh. We've got an activity break to look up some of Van Gogh's earlier work so you can get your get some IT into it so they can do some searching. Or books, obviously. You can go, go on your library shelf. Oh, I love this one as well. The Starry Night. This has all been printed on eco mode. So, you know, that's a really good quality. Okay, picture study, and now, oh I love Monet as well, 
this is so fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so that's lesson two. So it's a bunch of reading in that one. Okay, so lesson two for this one, we have got um, a, a colouring. So the, guess, just a thought, if you're devout Gather Round fans, you'll probably be laughing when I say this, but I guess you would colour this while you were reading, perhaps. You're probably all laughing and saying, yes, obviously, Isabella, that's what we would do. <laughs> um, I'm guessing you would, that would be an idea. Draw, write, or dictate what you remember from the lesson. Draw, write, or dictate what you remember about Van Gogh and Da Vinci and who, what was your favourite. So that's our notebooking page. So let me know if you do gather around, do you do your notebooking page while you're reading? I mean, obviously, pause when you need to show them things. Hmm. Okay. Two, lesson two, commas. So this is our language arts. So we're talking about commas. We're adding commas to show place value. Ah, that's interesting. Getting a bit of maths in there. Write three numbers that show our first comma rule. Do you remember the first comma rule? Ah, day one, day two, day three. So you'll revisit it. Revisit the uh, concept. Okay, that's interesting. Um, now we're on to our science and art. So... We're talking about making observations, counting, te testing new ideas, and problem solving. Hmm. Okay, math and science. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Ah, oh well, so we did get some history in this lesson. So we're talking about inventions. Go online with some of your parents and look for videos about how the printing press worked. That'd be cool. So you can go and do some searches on YouTube or somewhere else. Um, okay. Then some questions about the video that you've just watched, if you've been able to find one. What did Johannes print? Why did Johannes invent the printing press? Okay, so that's really interesting. Okay. Now for our art for lesson two, we're looking at the sunflowers. Oh, we've got a little game. So we've got some dice here. Um, so we're rolling different pieces. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, and then we're going to paint the different pictures. Um, what we finished. Oh, I like that. That's, that sounds really fun. That, that would be, my daughter really like that. Okay, lesson three. Oh, we're on to lesson three. So that's what we we're doing for our lesson two. So there's a good variety there. Um, so for lesson two, we've got art and language arts again. We've got some grammar with commas. We've got science and art again. We've got a little bit of history and doing some research. And we have got a art activity and a little game. That's really fun. I really like that. Oh, my favourite. Lesson three, one of the ballet dancers. Okay, so we've got some information. So some history again. And that is just stunning. I love that so much. Uh, ballet is art. We've got an activity break and uh, we can go and watch examples of ballet. So they recommend uh, the Dance of the Little Swans or the Nutcracker of the Rat King. Okay, Anna Pavlova. So some history about her. And then another dancer as well, Misty Copeland. Okay, and again, some more history as well. Yes, here. Don't forget to reference the teacher's companion to see what is happening for each level. Answer keys, scope and sequence, an amazing book list. Ah, okay, that's in the companion too. Full of suggested reading plus planner pages. So we'll have a we'll look at the creative companion, or teacher companion even, um, in a minute. Okay, so that's lesson three. So lesson three in our student, my element, early elementary, we are doing uh, some sketching, early elementary notebook. We're doing some sketching. Um, we are doing, going back on our grammar. So when it was one of those day one, day two, day three sheets. And we've got some little notebook in here that we can talk about, that we can write about even what we talked about during our lesson. Language arts today, we're doing some research. Remembering our grammar and how to write dates properly. We're going to go online and look at uh, our artist and who we picked and look at their date of birth. And then in our artist profile, we're going to write the first sentence in the all about me section. I really like this. 
this is really good okay lesson three history and geography so we're talking about the history of the ballet shoe oh my goodness this is this is genius i love this but first let's label and color france on the map okay have you ever wondered what a ballet shoe is made of that is so so fun what a thing to tie in with ballet i love that hands-on activity designing a shoe I like being in vain to try designing your own shoes using cardboard or sketch out on a separate sheet of paper. I'm really going to be interested to see what shoes my daughter makes. I love that. That is such a, that is such a great tie-in. Okay, for science, uh, we're talking about... Ah, very clever. She's Her tie-in, her links are really good. I really like it. So we're talking about an object in motion because I was just talking about dancing for science. Um, and forces, friction, genius. Yep, love it. Um, doing a little, oh, a little experiment, a hypothesis, we'll be right. Love it, that is fantastic. So for friction, for our science. Home economics, we get to make pavlova. Yep, I saw that one coming, but that's a great idea. I love that. Um, that is delicious as well, fruit pavlova. Okay, sorry, I was just um, reading. <laughs> I was just reading the top. Okay, so let's look at one more lesson and then we'll go and look at the creative companion because I don't want this video to be super long, but this is really good. I'm really liking this. Okay, number four, lesson four, we're on poets. Okay, so we've got all the information about poems. So how, they, how they're formed, what they're used for, so conveying feelings and emotions. Okay. What is a poet? Lyrical poetry, so some different styles of poet. Oh, I love that. So cute. Uh, Robin's one of my favourite birds. L li uh, lyrical poetry information. Uh, another activity break to go online and find a few more poems. Uh, humorous poetry. Ah, oh, she wrote her own poem. That's really fun. Okay. Okay. Free verse poetry. And then we've got some, some comprehension, well, I guess not comprehension, but artistic license as to what's happening in the poem. Mm, okay, different types of poetry to explore. And then open up your notebook and today's assignment. So let's have a look at what this one is. Art and language arts. So we're doing our notebooking page, so similar to the original one that we did. For language arts today, we're doing a rhyming poem. And then we get to write our own. For history, um, we'll look, we, we need to do some research so we can find some more information about the poem. So again, we're getting some IT in there, so that's great. IT. I shouldn't say that. IT or looking in books, because <laughs> they're just both as useful and great skills. But I guess as you're looking for a specific person, it's more likely to be on the computer because unless you've got a ton of poetry books. Um, science. Shadow? Okay. So we're looking at shadows. You've got a little torch here to make a game experiment. What do you notice about your shadow experiments? Draw right what you observed. So obviously they're not expecting too much because there isn't much there, but that's great. Narration. Okay, I like that. And then don't forget to work on the last day of your grammar. Oh, we have to look at lesson five because it's cartoonist and, and I know that's going to be one of my favourites. So I'm really intrigued to see what she's done for this one. And then we'll go and look at the companion. Okay, so we've got our prayer at the top. We've got our information about animation. Okay. Political cartoons, comic strips and books. So this was written by some uh, a, a child of a Gatheran family, which is a really uh, cute thing to put in there. Look in your local newspaper and see if you can find a political cartoon. Okay, that's interesting because look for irony, exaggeration and symbolism so you could have a real good conversation about that. Because um, I, I would imagine there aren't many early elementary who will understand all of that at, at first sight. Um, so that's a good skill and a good lesson to go through. 
Um, now we've got animation, careers and cartooning, and then some extension activities. Yep, that's a really that's a really good one. So comparing traditional animation with computer animation. Ah, Walt Disney. So a little uh, some information about him. A popular cartoonist. Okay, and then we're going to our notebook. So the reading is very manageable. I don't think it's too much that you would read a day. Um, but I guess you could split it if um, you found that it was. It obviously depending on the, the age of your kids and with it being gather round. If you've got some younger ones, you probably need to pause, I would imagine, halfway in between. Um, so <laughs> we're drawing cartoon sheep. Um, my, uh, and then we've got some note pages for animation and comic strips. Okay. Plagiarism for our writing project. Okay, so we're going to do some research, I guess, so we understand what plagiarism is. And we're doing our artist profile again. History. So we're talking about this image here. Okay, so we've got a bit of American history down here. Okay, and then we're talking about, uh, there's an art picture, and then we've got some more historical information here. So from what you've just read, you'd answer the questions, what they've just read, I should say. So some comprehension as well. Science, we are talking about TV. So when TV was first invented. Okay, and comparing TV then to now. Okay, and then for our art, we have a section for us to draw our character and write or take one sentence of, of what action or movement you want them to do in your animation. So we're creating our own little animation. Okay, I really like it. Um, let's look at the companion and then I'll, we'll talk a bit more. So now we've gone to the teacher's companion. I've, if you can hear water running, I've purposely turned the bath on so I can't waffle on, uh, waffle for too long because this video is already super long. Um, they have an app apparently. I think I've heard of that. I haven't got it though, so I can't uh, to talk about that. But it's there for you. So here are the planner pages. So those, that's really helpful. We've got a list section and notes section. I love the fact that they've got this little uh, Polaroid here for you to draw on. A shopping list for items. Here's your supply list that you'll need. So nothing on there too crazy. Um, Vudanovsky brush lettering pen. Um, that's something that you wouldn't necessarily have, but I think they're probably very useful. Um, Yeah, other than that, oh, but that's only if you're doing the cursive writing notebook and if you want to do brush the, and you want to do the brush lettering pages or techniques. Okay. Here we go, the book list. So we've got our key here. Um, so we are EE -E for early elementary. That's interesting. Okay, so grades four to six is upper elementary. So for next, so well, we could still do this in fourth grade because it's two to four. But it just makes me think actually that if I do any other levels from here, I'd be getting the upper elementary. Okay, anyway, let's not get distracted. I have the bath running. <laughs> Lesson one, what is art? So we've got all our book recommendations here. I really like that, that she's giving you so many. And that she's put a key on as well so you know if you wanted to do it as a read aloud, if you, you know, if you want your kids to read them themselves. That's great. So there's a large range of different books there for you. Oh, and some videos as well. I really want to go through the rest of the book now to find out why we'd be watching the, the uh, Chronicles of Narnia. Ah, for our novelists unit. Okay. 
and then some uh, unit read aloud. Oh, so she's even put some there in there for you. I'm just looking at it now. Aesop Fables, um, poetry. Yep, yeah, that that all sounds good. I like those. Um, what's this? Vocabulary, optional vocabulary words. Okay, and then she, it's by grade as well. So that's that. I like that. That's very helpful. Um, we've got our recitation. Ah, here we go. Here's our seat work. So it shows you for each of the, the grades um, which sheet they would be doing for their seat work. I think that's actually just for my notebook, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, that look, just looks like... Oh, I don't know whether that's just for my level or not. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that is okay. Now we're doing, uh, she shows you the notebooking pages, our artist profiles. Maybe I should make this bigger instead of trying to squint and see what it says. Social studies. Okay. So this is really handy. So you can just look at this ahead of time when you're doing your planning and see what's required. Wow, there's 133 pages in this uh, companion, so I'm going to go fast. So it's by each each uh, um, subject. Okay, let's just go through and see if there's anything else after this point. But that's really helpful, you know, if you don't want to go through the book. It's not so bad for me because I, I'd only be going through one book, but if, I can imagine if you've got 11 kids or something like that, going through everyone's notebooks will be quite time consuming where this would be a lot easier to just flip through. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is um, do this with her because this looks so fun. So, as in. Um, print one off for me too and obviously I won't do all of the pages but you know the art ones where we're drawing together I think that would be really fun okay so that's the creative companion is there anything else in here so it covers your pages it also covers your reading list video recommendations and I don't think this is necessary to print off um, I think you can definitely keep it on the computer, but if you obviously want to, then you have the option to. I'm glad I didn't print that. Um, I think it's much... Oh, hang on. Where are we at? I think it's much better to have it as digital, a digital version. Okay, so it's scope and skeet sequence for all our levels. So, all levels. So which one is this, then? This is, oh, this is our early reader. Oh, here we go. Early elementary. So we're covering, this is what we're covering for our language arts, grammar, commas, writing, names, dates, birth dates, rhyming, captions, artists, profiles, and free writing. And then the difference between, oh, I like the upper elementary ones actually, as well. And then we've got middle school and high school. So that was, is there anything else? No, that's it. So that's the creative companion. Okay, so let's just go back to the very beginning so you can look at that picture. So my first impressions, because as I said, this is the first time I've gone through it. I think it's fantastic. I'm really, really impressed. Um, it seems like they have really developed from when they first started out and they've, they've realized what works and you know, taken feedback and they've changed layout of things because that's what I gather from reading this. Um, reading the other book and then putting all the seat work together so it sounds like they're very customer orientated and they're really trying to um, you know go by the customers requests and leads which I think is always great for a new company um, I haven't looked at any of the other ones so I'd be really interested to compare I've got one in mind um, that I think I might get now I'm more certain I want to get it now after having seen this um, which you'll see in my curriculum video so I think that was in one of the year one so it'd be interesting to compare from year one to year two um you know their style and how things have changed but i think that's fantastic i'm really impressed i love the 
the tie-ins that she's done. I love the thought that you can tell there's been a lot of thought put into it. It's not just, okay, let's think of what random activity will go with this topic. She's really taken some time to think, you know, think it all through and, you know, um, find activities that would be really enjoyable. It's very thorough in terms of what you do. Like I say, let me know if you do gather around. Do you do a sheet a day? I'm curious because that's a lot. Um, this would definitely, this is 20 lessons, but this would definitely, because we wouldn't obviously do it every day, this would definitely take us, um, you know, a good while. So I think uh, I'm really happy with it. It's It looks fantastic. I'm really impressed. Um, I'll definitely let you know once you've used it. I was planning on starting it this year, but I think I'm going to actually keep it for fourth grade because I really do like it and I want to make sure, you know, we're not rushing and everything else and that we can really take our time with it. I love all the different research aspects that she's put into it. I'm highly impressed and I can't wait now to actually purchase the next unit that I was thinking of doing for the fourth grade. Um, it looks fantastic. I'm really impressed. So yep, yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry this video is super long. Take care and I'll see you in our next uh, video. Bye for now.